Thank you for joining me for another episode of Drawing Code Scratch Jr. And this is a holiday edition. Snow globes and snow days. So first off, we're going to check out what the programs will look like when you're all done. And here we go. I have my green start flag. We have snow in our snow globe and some snow bouncing up at the bottom. And we'll go over to snow day and let's check out snow day. Snow day, we have a little boy. He's going to build a snowman. Notice we have smoke rising from our chimney, the car going down the street, and here we have it. Okay, let's check out how we created some of these. And so I'm going to stop our program there, and we're going to go back over. We're going to create a new page. So anytime you come over here, we're going to have, you're going to have a blank pages. I'm going to keep my two programs, but I am going to hit this new page on the side. So this is how you would start out. You want to get rid of a cat. And we're actually going to draw our snow globe on the background. It's not going to be a character. So hit the background at the top. Choose a blank background and hit the paintbrush. I've been selecting black, but you're, you can select whatever color you would like. And then I select the circle tool and white. And I usually draw a very thin line. Put your stylus or your finger at the top of the screen on the left side and start to pull down to the other corner until you get a nice big circle that you like. Then you just let go. Use the fill, paint fill bucket. And I like to choose that blue. Now I'm gonna click the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna make a base for the snow globe. So I'm going to draw a rectangle, a pretty big rectangle on this side. I'm going to fill that in. And then I use the arrow and I center that rectangle so it's kind of sits right down on there. Looks like the snow globe sitting on there. Now you can draw your base as well. Sometimes I'll put a yellow or like a kind of like that gold top to the, uh, like a base top. Whoops. We'll go back in there. You got more work to do on there. So let's go here and paint brush and just move that around a little bit. Okay, now we're ready to draw what's inside of there. I'm going to draw a Christmas tree. But there's so many things you can put inside of a snow globe. You can do a, a gingerbread house or like a little cottage or um, a snowman or Santa Claus or whatever you want to put in there. So I'm going to draw the Christmas tree. I'm just going to kind of get that Christmas tree shape going down the side. Up to the top. Okay, the bottom's a little bit too flat. But I think I'll keep it for now. I'm just going to make a trunk. We're going to make a simple drawing here. And I'm going to select, we'll do red. Maybe just do some decorations on our tree. Just a little garland. Now remember, Scratch kind of likes to do its own thing. So it doesn't necessarily put the lines exactly where you want them. I'll just put some ornaments on. Here's a pretty basic tree, and then I might put a star on top. Okay, and we'll move the star over a little bit. All right, I'm gonna keep that. I can work with that drawing all day, but I'm going to do a check mark here. And I wanted to really show you how to make the snow inside of the snow globe. So whatever you decide to draw in there, um, have fun with it, be creative. So we're going to hit the plus to make a character, blank page, paintbrush. We're going to use white and just the circle tool. And just kind of put little circles, little dots. These are snowflakes all around the screen. So 
you can spread them out. You can put them a little close together. You don't really want to put them in like exact rows or anything. And we'll hit the check mark, see how this looks. Okay. Now, sometimes I shrink it, shrink it down. Um, sometimes I don't. Just all depends. We can keep that the same size. Now, I'm just going to select the one I just made. Okay. And I'm actually going to just kind of overlap it. Do three or four times. These are a little bit bigger snowflakes. Now, we will work on it here in a little while, and you'll see what we have to do. Because we're working in a circle, and it's not just coming straight down, we don't want the snowflakes to go off to the side. So most of our program is going to look like this. A green flag falling down, eventually going back to start, and repeating itself. So if I did this to it and I hit the green flag, see how it's repeating there? So a couple things we have to look at. One, we don't want it in the base. Two, it's going too fast. So I put this speed button here. And now if I do it like this, now it is slowing down, but it's still in the base. And this is where we do something where even though I drew that base two colors, I might want to do it one color sometimes. Okay. So I have the base two colors now, but if I go here and I go blank page paintbrush, choose a rectangle tool. Let's make a large brown rectangle. And what we're trying to do with this is cover up, and maybe I'll just go back to making it one color, and maybe I'll do a yellow one above this. We're trying to cover up the area. We'll choose that rectangle again. We're trying to cover up the area that the snowflakes are falling into. And so it'll look like there, let's try it now. Okay, so it looks like, and let's make it in this big section here. We'll cover up that yellow. There we go. So now it doesn't look like they're going down into the base because we've covered that area up. So that one we only had dropping one. So if we have, if we put it in all of our other snowflakes, remember in Scratch Junior, you can select it where the flag is, pull it, to where there is not a program, and there's not a program in this one, that one above it, and the one at the very top. And now if I hit my green flag, see how they're all going together. Well, to make it change, and so it won't look like that, we can put a weight block or a time in between. So here's one with the time, waits a little bit and then goes slow down. Sometimes when we go to move, it actually changes whether we put the slow or the fast. All right. So we have a weight block on that one. And we can also adjust where they are. So we can put this one, say, on the side. Now, anytime that you drag the snow, do you see it went above my brown block here? But if I touch it and move it, then it goes back on top of it. So you can make any adjustments you like, whether you want to add some timer to it. On the one that I had here, I actually made some snow like looked like it was jumping back up. Because when you do a snow globe, it's not actually falling like a regular snow shower. It is kind of swirling about. So there's not a perfect way to make the snow go. But you want to just make sure that you're trying to keep it inside of the snow globe. Like if I get it out here and it's falling on the outside, then you want to just kind of pull it back a little bit. OK. 
Okay. So that is a basic snow globe and how you can make your snow. Let's look at snow day. Here's our snow day program. And this is a little bit more complicated. So this is to mainly give you some ideas of what you can do with Scratch Junior. So the snow falling is probably the most simple part of the program. So we'll look at that first. Now I have a lot of different groups of snowflakes. And I did the same thing as when I did the snow globe. I just made dots all over the screen, spread them out. And then we had our check mark. And I think I shrunk them down because they were a little too big. So I did like, I brought this out and I did hit that twice. The basic program is green flag and slow down forever. Now I'll show you what medium looks like and see if you can pick out the one that's going too fast. See it over on the left side coming down above the little boy, how it's catching up and passing up the other snowflakes. I think that's going too fast. So that's why I set them all slow. And so you don't, I mean, you could try to make some go fast, some go slower, that's up to you. So that's probably our most simple part of the program. The other part is the car. And the car is if we look down here at our car, you might see that I added a little bit of snow to it. And I also changed, if we take a peek at the um, background, Okay, if you look at how I did the background, um, this was a neighborhood background and I just used white paint, the white on here to anything that I thought would be covered in white. And on the street, I didn't cover that all white. So I just made like some blotches of snow, just like around different places on the street. In the sky, I made a black, like a darker gray sky here. I drew a little chimney on the house. So something like just a tiny chimney up there. And I made a little thing there. And then I made that over. And that's pretty much what we used for that background. So it kind of looks like that. Let me see if I can figure out where my regular background is. Yeah, there it is. And so that's what I did for the background. The car, what I did with the car is I said on a green flag, on a start flag, I made it wait a little bit to send a message to the boy to start his snowman. So if you look, the car starts going and then it sends the message to the little boy and he starts building the snowman while the car is still running. I had the car go all across the road and then it disappears at the end. That's the car's program. This tree, you might say, where's that tree at? Well, I put a tree on top of the tree that was on the background. I did that so the car, it'll look like it's going kind of behind the tree. Otherwise, it looks like it's going in front of the tree. Let's look at the little boy's program. And this little boy, he had shorts on. So I gave him a coat and mittens and gloves, or mittens and pants and snow boots. His program though, there's a yellow flag or yellow um, start message. He gets that yellow message from the car, remember, okay? He sends an orange message and then he starts walking six spaces. Where's the orange message go? Well, I sent that to the snowman. We're pretending that he's rolling that snowball to make the snowman. So when it gets the orange message, that's what that ball does. And it looks like it gets bigger, okay? Oops, I'm gonna have to hit the little boy so that he gets in front. And you, you notice with Scratch Junior, that's one thing that it does when you touch something Whatever you touch last goes in front. So when I hit the green flag, a car goes, sends a message to the little boy. The little boy rolls the snowball, that, and it turns into that bigger ball. And then he dresses the snowman. 
How's all that happen? Well, we use these message blocks. So that snowball messages this, and that makes the ball appear. Because what I did was I made the ball disappear on the screen. And it sends a blue message. Who's it send the blue message to? Well, it sends the blue message to the larger ball to go to the bottom, okay? And then I just have a decorated, this is the decorated face. So I have that and I put that in place. And all I do when I put it in place is I make it disappear. See like that? So it's, there's the ball that's there, but then when it appears, it goes on top of it. So it looks like it decorates it. I do the same thing to the middle one. So I hide it. And then when it appears, it looks like that. This is the smoke. Now I, I tried a lot of different things with that. You could just draw it on there. That's something I added later just to try to make it look like it was coming out of the chimney. And I kind of like how it turned out, but I would have tried it a little differently and added a little bit to it. That's just covering up the part of the chimney. And then there's here is this smoke here. Now, sometimes, like I said, this turns solid orange. That it was actually this slow. I'm not really sure why it does that, but if you ever notice, if I ever have any that are solid orange, usually it's the slow. So if I go back here, notice that my snowmen are still sitting there, so I'm gonna need to make them hide. Let's see if this, how it looks. So a lot of message has been sent here. Since message, he's rolling out the snowball, decorating the snowman, and there's our snow day. You can do a lot of on snow days too. You can have a, them sled ride down a hill. We can have a snowball fight. Um, just a lot of things can happen. You can build an igloo. I could have drove on a snow plow that went down the street and plowed the snow. Um, just have a lot of fun with it. Be very creative. You're, you can use my my code. The biggest code I would think that you really want to pay attention to and figure out and be able to use in your programs is the snow falling. Okay, there's a lot here that's a little bit more complicated, um, but as you get better and better with it, you'll be able to change up your own program, add to it, and be very creative with this. Thank you very much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like and subscribe below. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful holiday season. Until next time.